In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this car. There's a funny story about this car. I'm going to share it with you as I'm getting out of the build area here. This car was inspired, well, by another player who wanted to build a car. And he came over and hop, hopped into my base there, joined me, and, uh, and asked me to, to build a car to show him how to build one. So I, I started building, and the guy kept up. Like, he kept up really well. And I just built at my regular pace kind of thing. And by the time we were done, I wasn't really paying attention to what he was doing because every time I looked over there, it seemed like he was on track. And uh, by the time we were done, he had a vehicle that worked just like mine. And we drove to the treasure, and we made the treasure the very first time we tried, which was, uh, <laughs> it was amazing. It worked out really well, and I was so proud of him. And, and uh, anyway, I ended up with this vehicle, and I decided to duplicate it and make that, that uh, stadium sort of thing you just saw there. And uh, today I'm going to show you all how to build this thing, because it's kind of fun. It makes it to the treasure. 85% of the time, maybe, you know, if you if you pay attention, even even just halfway lucky, um, it does a pretty good job. Um, probably makes it to the treasure 95% of the time if you, uh, with with me when I'm not with anyone else, so I have no lag and stuff. Um, anyway, it's just sand wheels. Uh, there's no there's no uh, suspension uh, under it, and you can see right there what it is. It's got a big big block underneath it. Um, protection blocks out in front, connected by this plastic rod. Um, that's it, it's all revealed. Uh, this this piece right here, this is my anti-tip device. <laughs> it's just a gold block that's collision on, on a shaft, a gold shaft that's collision off. So you can jump right through it, uh, so you can get in your seat and stuff. Um, but up, up here, uh, it's nice and solid and you can, uh, you can just stand on it if you wanted to. Anyway, my point is, uh, it was a pretty simple build, and I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. So, here we go. So, this piece here is 14 long. So, let's, let's start with a block like that. And I'm going to use all the tools. So, if you don't have all the tools, I'm sorry. There's other ways, there's other ways around some of this stuff. Uh, you can check out some of my older videos on, uh, on building large-wheeled vehicles. Uh, I have one before the trial tool was out and uh, shows you how to do it without the trial tool. Uh, but since we have the trial tool, I'm going to use it to my advantage here and uh, do what it can do. So right now I'm just uh, creating two of those, put it, put it inside of itself, and then I'm going to just rotate by 15 degrees. And now I need to set the width of that block. So I'm going to go to scaling tool. I'm looking at the width of this is 1.8. So essentially a 2x2 two two block, I've taken 0.1 off of each side of it to end up with 1.8. So I'm just going to set my adjustment here to 0.1 and I'm just going to take that one down to 1.9 and then 1.8 on that side. This one, pull it in 1.9 and then 1.8. And that is supposed to be what we have here. Looks about right. There's just a tiny little gap. That's actually what I want. Um, I want that extra little that extra little edge right there. I don't know how much it does for us, but it doesn't cost us anything to leave it there, really, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. So I'm going to grab both of those. I'm going to clone it out, put it back where it goes, um, rotate it two notches. That would be 30 degrees. Grab the other two, clone it out, pull it back in, go back to rotate, four notches. One, two, three, four. And then we do that one more time. Switch over to clone, and rotate four more notches. One, two, three, four. There, right there. Okay, that's our wheel. Um, we need to pull this thing out. Let's see. I need to clone it. So I'm going to grab the whole thing one more time. I'm going to clone it out. And then back in. Okay, so now we've got two of them sitting inside of each other. And that's so I can make a wheel that looks round. So I was just going to see what uh, what dimensions these blocks were. They're just two by two. So I'm going to set the scale tool to two. And I'm just going to start pulling those things out. There 
there we start to see the gaps. So you can see I've got a gap right here. That comes from this one. So I pulled two of them up into this. So I can just pull that one back down again. Now I've got it back. So there were two of them inside of each other right there. All right, so there's the ring. And then to make to make the, the spokes, you just you just pull. You can delete the, uh, the opposing one. And let's see, I think I did like, what did I do? I did two. So I'd save these two. And then I'd delete that one. Save these two, delete that one. Save these two, delete that one. And then go go and pull the opposing one into that spot. Sweet. Okay. So that's our wheel. And finding the center of that is real easy because, you know, these are nice even blocks. They're 14 wide, so that's that's good. Um, let's go ahead and measure the stick on this thing. It was 18. Let's go ahead and put a gold block out there. Kind of did this in reverse this time. Normally I, uh, I do it the other way. Usually I put the gold block up first and then build the wheel. I'm a little ahead of myself this time, but that's okay. Still work. All right, so there we go. Um, that one is centered on this wheel that looks good okay so i'm just going to move this away how far do i need to go pardon all the back and forth here so i just need to go to so i'm just going to use the move tool i'm just going to scoot that guy out two notches i'm going to come in here put a gold block on that one on the other side i'm not sure why i didn't move that wheel out farther it's going to have to go out farther obviously um, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to pull it out there some I don't care amount. And let's grab regular wheels. I'm going to put front wheels on here. I'm going to put back wheels on this one. So this can drive with a regular driver's seat. Okay. I oh, hate it when it does that. I guess if I uh, was smarter, I could have placed the chair first. Oh well. I always end up doing this. There we go. Alright, chair bindings are good. Let's put us a uh, Let's give us a counterweight. What am I doing here? I need gold. Gold. Put around the chair. So this this block should be centered. Let's make sure. Okay, if it's not centered, looks like you need to go up one. That's centered. Okay, cool. Alright, so I'm going to go, let's see what this one is. So, where's it from? It's from the top of that, so it's down 14. Okay, I'm going to pull this out of the out of the dirt just a little bit there so I can get to the bottom of that guy. And this weight has got Twenty six by twenty two eight thick. Okay. I'm gonna use titanium for the weight. Twenty six. by 
by 22 by 8. Okay, that looks like uh, that doesn't look right. It needs to go down way farther than that. That looks a little bit better. Just trying to line up, like look at the bottom of the wheel here and where the counterweight is. So that's that's about the right distance there. All right. Um, might as well put my anti-tip mechanism on here while I'm at it. Kind of kind of gonna want that. Um, just drag that down in there just a little bit. Pull it up. Um, I don't know how high it really needs to be. How high is this one? That one's pulled down in there a little ways too. It's 19.5. Yeah, it speaks to the slop of it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'm going to put the uh, the block here off off to one side just a little bit. So that's on purpose. Uh, that's so that it doesn't have a chance to rest on a tripod. So two two wheels plus that block. It could be a kind of a tripod sort of thing if it's upside down. Uh, but putting the block off center makes it kind of teeter in one direction, and then the counterweight will take over and do the rest of it, the rest of the tipping for you. So I'm going to grab this, and anytime you're moving uh, a, a thing into a wheel, um, it's good to turn off collision on the, the blocks that you're moving into a wheel. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm just going to scoot this guy in, and that looks like it's about right. Now I'm going to move it straight back and, and center it on this one. So I'm going to select that piece and then select it again, and that lines up the, uh, the move tool. I'm going to switch to cloning, and I'm just going to line that guy up right on that wheel. There we go. That worked out perfect. And now I'm just going to scoot underneath here. I'm going to select both of those. Make sure I don't have my jetpack selected. There we go. Um, and it doesn't matter which way the orientation is showing here because we're just going straight over. So, do that. Awesome. Okay, now I need a uh, save slot for this thing, so I'm going to get rid of this guy. What happened to my protection blocks? That's weird. Where'd they go? Did I delete them? How strange. Okay. Well, I don't remember deleting those. I'll probably have to watch the video and go, oh yeah, that, that was the moment. Okay, um, looks like pretty much it. Uh, we need to turn off collision on this and this and this. And we need to turn collision on on those uh, sand wheels. Okay, collision on for those guys. And yeah, I'm gonna think that's probably about good. Let's go ahead and invisible this stuff. One more thing to do, check the torque and the speed. So I got them set to 20 and all the way green. So 20 all the way up to green on wheel torque. Um, let's, let's just see if she drives, because uh, I'm not really interested in putting the protection blocks on there just yet. Oh, actually, yeah, take that back. You guys are going to want protection blocks. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and make this thing um, invisible again, so I can stick that plastic block on there and know where it's going. Uh, I'm going to try to just hit the center here. Check it to see if it's centered. Yeah, it sure as heck is. All right, let's go. Like So... Not really important that it be any particular size. Let's just go for something bigger. Let's see, how about that? Are we centered? We are still centered. Okay, so I got a six by three. And, you know, basically just put as much plastic on here as you can. Um, these are the, these are the pieces that really do the work. That's the little cross, little cross members here. So if you don't have, you know, a bazillion plastic, then that's fine. Just put as much on there as you have, and then as you get more, add to it.
Cool. I always use a uh, I always use a spacing of eight when I'm making these uh, protection block slabs. Um, seems like it works okay. There's nothing wrong with doing ten. I've I've used that before. Um, seems like the higher density uh, works just a little bit better. Takes out stuff a little more reliably, I guess. And you can just grab a bunch of those. I'm trying to decide if I um oh can't grab my jetpack. Trying to decide if I can uh, use a save slot for this and reload it because it kind of needs to be reloaded. All right, there we go. I don't need that one. So these all need to have collision turned off. And let's make them transparent along with that counterweight. There we go. All right, cool. And I'm going to drop this one. Bye bye. Okay. Now all we have is the one we just made. Save it. Yeah, I'll just stick it over that one. Guess I lost my jetpack. Nope, it's just invisible. All right. Unanchor all. Test run. That looks pretty good. All right, stick with me. We're going to go down to the treasure. Hey, there we go. Made it. So you can put a little gold core or something inside those wheels, make them a little tougher uh, for those emergencies where you know they really do take a lot of damage from the alligator stage. Um, but it was a success, and I think I'm done here. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, if you happen to build one of those vehicles and then happen to see me in a game, uh, I'd love to drive your your version. That'd be awesome. Just just to do it, just to just to see it. So anyway, thank you guys for hanging with me. And hope you have a have a wonderful time. We'll see you next time. Maybe uh, maybe in my next video I'll be uh, spending a bunch of uh, gold on something. Like uh, I'm getting close to a million. I'm going for a million. That's that's my goal. I don't know why. Just because I've never actually reached it. I guess. So uh, here we go. More driving. Bye bye. <laughs>